Hello, I am Dr. Sri Ram Ramalingam, ophthalmologist and medical director Pradhyan Retralia. Our hospital is specialized in cataract, glaucoma and squint services. Our human eye has got a lens. This lens helps in focusing the rays of light onto the retina. The human lens is made up of a central nucleus and the periphery is called as a cortex. When the lens becomes opaque, we call it as a cataract. When the center part of the lens becomes opaque, we call it as a nuclear cataract. When the periphery becomes opaque first, it is called as a cortical cataract. As the cataract progresses, the nuclear cataract starts becoming harder and darker in color. Nuclear cataracts are graded from grade 1 to 4. Grade 4 being the hardest and it is usually dark in color. What are the symptoms of cataract? The symptoms of cataract may vary from person to person. They may complain of difficulty in vision, maybe distance or near reading vision, may complain of glare, they may complain of halos around the eyes. Occasionally, patients with nuclear cataract may say that now I am able to read the books better without glasses, which I was not able to do before. And also, some of them will say complain of washout of the colors and frequent change of glasses. How does your ophthalmologist diagnose cataract? An ophthalmologist will do a complete eye examination, which include the vision and a dilated retinal examination. And we tell you that whether you have got a cataract or not. If the cataract is significant, he may ask you to get operated. But the cataract is in the initial stages, he may advise you to just change the glasses. What are the risk factors for developing cataract? Cataract, as I said, is an aging process. Just like the hair on your head turns white, the lens inside the eye also turns white with age. The other factors that can accelerate the process of cataract are diabetes mellitus, smoking, use of steroids. What is the best modality of treatment of cataract. Cataract can be safely removed by a technique which is called as FACO, emulsification. FACO stands for lens and emulsify stands for dissolving the lens. Here we use an ultrasonographic machine called a FACO emulsifier which dissolves the cataract and removes the lens. Then we replace it with an artificial lens called, which is called as an intraocular lens. The FACO emulsification is a very safe technique if it is done between grade 1 to 3. If the cataract becomes very hard like grade 4 and above, FACO emulsification may not be safe because the amount of energy required to dissolve this hard cataract may be more and it can cause damage to the surrounding structures. Occasionally, a hard cataract may even fall into the eye because of the weight. Hence, it is important that if you have a cataract and if your ophthalmologist advise you to get the cataract removed, kindly remove the cataract and get an intraocular lens implantation. If the cataract is very hard, one may have to resolve to a manual cataract operation with where we have to make a larger incision in the eye manually remove the lens and to replace it with an artificial lens the recovery time in a manual cataract surgery may vary between four to six weeks as against a phaco emulsification which the recovery time is within less than a week's time hence a hard cataract may not be very safe to remove with a phaco emulsification but it is better to remove the cataract before it becomes very hard. Many patients say that I am able to see and why should I get the cataract removed? The quality of vision usually decreases and the person is not aware that the cataract has developed. After removing the cataract, they find a vast difference between the quality of vision what they were seeing before and after. Hence, if your cataract has progressed and it is hampering your vision, it is better to remove it before it becomes very hard.